Hi everybody. Um, it's Patricia. Duh, you know that you've clicked on my channel. Um, I want to thank the whole community, all of you, um, so so very much with the outpouring of love and support this community gave me all week, and I mean all week, not just the day that I went crazy, but all week. Um, it's been wonderful. I uh, try very hard to be upbeat. I do have a lot of medical issues. That's why you always just see me here. Um, I walk with two of these and only in my apartment, I can't walk much further. Than, well, I can get out to the patio and with help, I can go upstairs to my daughter's. But um, that's life, you know? But I'm alive and I'm here to enjoy this life and I do enjoy my life. Um, it's gotten enriched by all of you, and, um, I really do appreciate last week, and Penny, I'm sorry that I dumped on you, <laughs> on you, I just needed friends, and I don't have adult, <coughs> excuse me, friends, um, in real life, um, because, uh, female friends I had growing up, they all decided to sleep with my husband. But that's a different story for a different day. We are going to do Disney Monday with Mr. Liam. And we've got a couple of things to talk to you about because Liam and I have had, been having our first fight, haven't we, Liam? But it's not really a big fight because how could you get mad at this cute little face? And um, while I change him, we're going to change him into... This for Disney Monday, it's a yellow t-shirt and it's 12 to 18 months, so it'll definitely fit him. Because in the body, he's the right size. It says chunky arms and it's definite chunky legs. And this short um, bib overalls, these shorts that are the bibbed overalls with um, the gray with Mickey and Goofy, and da uh, Daisy, and the Chipmunks, I forget their names, and Goofy, and Pluto, and, oh, oh, there is Minnie, I thought he, they missed Minnie, Dale, and, who's the other Chipmunk, Dale, and, see, anyway, and, guys, look at this, I gotta show you, because of all the love and support last week, together is better so perfect this outfit's from um my really good close friend claudia um i just love her so much she's got the best thing she signs most things off to me with let's play dolls at least lately that's what she signs it with and it's perfect because it gets your mind out of anything that you have possibly going on and then we're going to put these little crocs on Aren't they adorable? That uh, Auntie D sent him from the baby patch. And D at the baby patch, uh, t uh, Sunday on her uh, video, she had said, you know, we should start another theme for Monday so that we can ha go between the two, which would really help everybody. I, and I, I agree with her. Um, and she's calling it Whatever Mondays. So you can put on whatever you want on Mondays for theme Monday. And, and or do Disney Monday. And then those of us that don't have a lot of Disney, I have some Disney now. Um, thank you very much, Claudia. Um, but uh, then we can all still participate, right? And uh, so I think that's wonderful. So it's um, hashtag whatever Mondays. And that's from D at the Baby Patch. So while I'm changing Mr. Liam tonight, oh, First, I should tell you about our first fight, and then I will dress him and do the tag. Okay, but just thank you guys tons, because I do really try and not let my health um, interrupt me on my channel. So, anyway, this week we got some happy mail, this beautiful outfit, and some other beautiful things from Claudia. And in there was this giraffe. When I opened it, I first thought it was a cow, but then I realized it's a giraffe, which um, my theme for my nursery, which is the room I'm in right now, 
because I live in a studio apartment, um, is giraffes and elephants. And I love him. And I wanted him for sitting up with my crew that support me when I do my videos. Tinky and Elka and Chris. Right, Chris? Yeah. Elka's from Australia. Yeah, Australia, because she's from Little Waddle's Nursery. And Tinky is from Claudia. And this guy, who I'm calling Jeffrey. Oh, you go. <laughs> well, Liam has been arguing with me that it's his giraffe. And it looks perfect with him. And he doesn't want to give it up to Mommy. Well, we said he could have him when he's playing and when he goes to bed at night. But when Mommy does her videos, Jeffy comes and sits with Mommy. Right, Liam? Yeah. You're such an easy-go-lucky guy. So that was my first fight with my little guy. First time he showed any independence. Ooh, you're getting up there, boy. <laughs> yes, Chrissy. So, uh, Midwest Reborns and Dolls. Um, she's a cute channel. Um, she's got a um, uh, tag she started with, which is um, hashtag your five, your summer memories and uh, our best summer memories, I guess. Um, and I should learn to write these things down, um, like out full. <laughs> she wants to know your five best from when you were a child and five from when you're an adult. So, I'm going to do that tag. Mwah. My first happy memory from summertime as a child was going camping, obviously. I've talked about it before. I loved it. I mean, you're outdoors. Um, there was always a campfire at night and uh, marshmallows on the s sticks around the campfire and Daddy trying to scare us with uh, spooky stories. And my mother going, don't say that to them, kid. Ken, you're going to get them scared. <laughs> Especially saying that my sister slept in the tent. Oh, well. Um, but uh, that was one of my favorite memories. Other memories, we used to, um, our house had a side yard. And it was a very large side yard. It was big enough for um, baseball. And we played baseball every day there. We had a ball. It was so much fun. And I can't do this up yet again. Yeah, uh-oh, it's right. And um, riding bikes, we used to do um, races around the block on them. Oh, when when I learned to ride a bike. <laughs> My sister Karen. <laughs> It's always had it in for me, that one. Um, I was getting a new bike. Um, I don't know why, but I was going to be getting a new bike. And all the girls had had hand-me-down bikes, always. I mean, it was a large family. But for some reason, I was getting a new bike. But it was going to have training wheels. And like the little sister I was, I always wanted to be included, right? So... <laughs> Karen said that I could go with her and her friends, Janie, and that, because I'd be on training wheels. But they would teach me to ride my bike without the training wheels before I got my new bike, and I could go the next day. So we lived on a Crescent. Our house was here on the corner. And you went down the one road, one arm of the road, and it went across the other street and ended in a ditch but it was straight and the other way went down a hill and crossed that same road again so anyway she was doing it on the grass on the front lawn she said she wouldn't let go of the bike and I was on her bike and <laughs> she let go and I went all the way I, I she taught me well I could I stayed up on it she forgot a minor little thing about brakes. <laughs> Didn't know what they were. I crashed into the um, ditch. 
So got up, walked the bike back, crying, of course. <laughs> and uh, her and Janie said, well, look, we'll do it on the road. We'll keep you better control. We won't let go. We promise, we promise, we promise. But you almost got it. You almost got it. They pointed me the opposite direction this time. Why I got back on that bike and believed them, I'm a fool. <laughs> I got on. They let go. I went down the road, down the hill, and crashed the bike in the ditch. <laughs> Scratched her bike up. Not bad, but I did scratch it up quite a bit. Anyway, I guess who got the new bike that night? Not me. And my dad's reasoning was, you should have thought for yourself. <laughs> but it's still a happy memory because I remembered she spent a whole afternoon teaching me. So it was a nice memory. Another um, nice summer memory. Um... Our generation, unlike my grandkids' generation or even my kids' generation, um, getting up in the morning on a summer morning and packing a lunch and taking off for the whole day. Even a lot of the times by myself and you'd meet up with kids, you know, at different points during the day, sure. But you were on your own until the, you know, the streetlights came on and then you knew you had to be home within five minutes. But, like, you could just go. You know, and you could go down on the creek and play in the water. And, oh, we did all kinds of stuff. I loved it. And my last favorite um, memory from my childhood uh, uh, summers it was a house full of girls and then my, my brother. But um, after, well, he'd start before my brother died, but even continued after my brother died. I'd go play remote control airplanes with my dad. I'd go fly them. And um, on the way home, he'd always take me to the Dairy Queen and I'd get a freezy or whatever you call those slushies. And we'd sit there in the car and we'd just talk and I'd drink my slushie. Just a small one because of sugar content, obviously. Huge family diabetics. And, um, and go home and I wasn't allowed to tell the girls because we weren't allowed sugar. But we did that once a week all summer long, Daddy and I. And fall, too, actually. And I love that memory. Because it was just one-on-one -on -one time with him. And he was always my biggest advocate, was my daddy. See, doesn't he look cute? Say hello, everybody. And luckily, I learned to D. These Crocs undo. Because <laughs> when they were done up, I couldn't get them on his feet. But they undo, and they fit him. And, uh... So anyway, as an adult, I'm going to sound corny for a minute, guys, because I am corny. Um, my five grandchildren are my favorite summer um, memories as an adult. <laughs> I told you it was corny. No. Um, my grandkids, for sure. You know, um, before um, COVID hit, I um, had several days upstairs in the backyard with all five of them together and it was so much fun and splashing in the pool with them because I can't swim I can swim once I get in it's getting in and getting out that's a problem but and they send them up in an extra um hand railing so I can help get myself out this one foot is such a pain in the butt because of the shape and uh taking my kids to this we rent this um cottage year after year and we'd go and just be able to we had a private beach and could sit on the beach and not worry about anybody freaking out about my leg and play with my kids in the water and there was a book in that cottage and uh the woman wanted you to always leave a memory from when you had been there. And so then you could go back every year and you could read what you had said the year before. It was so much fun. See him with his Crocs on, Auntie D. See his Crocs. <laughs> They're so cute. Avery come rushing down yesterday with her Crocs. And she's true. They're the exact same Crocs. 
So she was so happy. But at first we couldn't get these on until she says, well, I'd do them, Nana. So an old bird can still learn from the young. I guess that's a nice summer memory for now. See? And you know what's another nice summer memory? is watching my kids learn to ride their bikes for the first time and realizing that it meant they were going to be independent and wanting to pull it back all at the same time. It was like, no, now you can get away from me. Ah! <laughs> so it's a fantastic tag. Um, I hope everybody does it for her. It's uh, Midwest Reborns and Dolls. She's got a cute channel, everybody. This has been wonderful, and thank you again, everybody, for your love and support. Take care. Bye-bye.